Hi everybody, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> so today I am doing a Roxy's Weekly Challenge and it is by Rachel from uh, Roxy Creations and it is week two of the challenge. So I'm hoping that uh, some of you that have watched the week one uh, will join in the challenge. Okay, so she does um she releases her video every friday afternoon uh so she released her video for week two last week friday but i kind of do it during the next week so you still have time to catch up okay and if you are going to be doing it then it would be so awesome if you uh use the hashtag uh, roxy's weekly challenge if you're posting on social media and then also um, put some of your creations in to the Facebook group Sunny Creates Junk Journals. I will leave the link down below. And the other thing is that if you have any, like a YouTube channel or whatever, and you want to post a video of your creation, then don't forget to use the hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge because when you do that, She's also able to see the creations that you've made. Okay, so once again, it is with book pages, but I don't have a prototype uh, to show you, but basically it is called, I think, Raised Flowers book pages, but I'll get the name right. And then all she does is that, um, I mean, this would, and a little bit more decorations would be considered a, um, finished piece okay so I'm going to show you how to do it or oh, my take on it hmm I'm being ambitious I've got four pages out okay so I am not going to time myself she normally puts a timer for 40 minutes but I swear Rachel is speedy Gonzalez because she like finishes seven or eight together with sorting out papers and fussy cutting and I mean, she's just amazing okay <coughs> i'm nowhere near that so i'm taking out four pages but i'll try to keep to the 14 minutes the reason why i don't want to time myself is because i um what's the word you know i'm gonna cough and i'm gonna do all these things so obviously what you need is book pages uh, you need uh, well you you don't have to use flowers you she's used raised flowers but I mean flowers but you don't have to use flowers you have to use I mean you can use anything you can use mushrooms you can use butterflies you can use whatever but the trick I found is that firstly when you cut these out or print them out make sure you're printing them out on quite a sturdy cardboard and I think this is 150 GSM and it could be sturdier the other thing is that you do not want really really thin like stems or anything on the upper part of the flower okay it's okay to have it on the lower parts of the flower but on the upper part it might give you some issues so on this uh, sunflower here yeah, you might have to be quite you know um it, it's quite delicate so you might have to just watch how you pull, put it in and pull it out in terms of the tags that you were using. Now, I don't even have a tag here, but um, nevertheless, we will make a plan. So all you need to do is you need to measure what your journal uh, width is, okay? And also the height of your journal. And then you need to cut your page down, I mean, width-wise at least to the uh, size of your journal. But in terms of height wise, you can play around with it because it depends on how much you fold it. But it, I wouldn't take an exceptionally long uh, page to use. Okay, give me a second. I thought I brought my trimmer, but I didn't and it was on the other side. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this though. Right, I'm, I, I see my, I, I see what time it is on my watch. So let's see with the, how many we can do. Yes. And I'm just going to trim it down. I'm just taking out more of the, you know, like the white pages. 
like that and that's fine and then even if we don't do all of them that's okay too because i know i'm being ambitious you know guys i'm a very slow crafter so i hope you are all good and that um yeah you enjoy crafting you and your family are well and yeah you having fun right here in south africa the school week started well depending where you are whether you're inland or whether you're in the coast on the coast so the coastal schools i think started today if i'm not mistaken and then um the inland schools where i live uh, uh they started last week i think last week wednesday and my son started on thursday if i'm not mis well i know he started on thursday i'm talking about the other schools i think they started on wednesday when you are inland okay so traffic is crazy oh my god trying to sort everything out is crazy so yeah that's a little bit about south africa and uh the schooling system so we run our schooling here from january to december of that year uh not like you know other countries i know there's other countries that don't run a school here from january to december so january and december and then the longest break that they will have is in uh december and then uh, they will have uh, they have four terms or three terms depending on the school that you go to and then they it normally it is four terms and the four terms are made uh, are divided into almost three months okay and then what happens is that the kids go to school and they will break for easter that will be their first um, you know holiday but not necessarily will they break for Easter sometimes they won't break for Easter but you know it's like the Easter break and depending when Easter falls on and whether it is way too you know early in the term to break and then they will break in June and July for the winter holiday that's the second longest holiday you get then in September kind of they will break again I'm just trimming off the edges here. And then in December, they will break. You know, they will break again. So maybe... Did I tell you what I need? You needed, you needed to use? And you know you need flowers and you need book pages. Sorry, you need some labels and glue. And um, you can use some paper, pa uh, pa pages for the paper. Uh, pa book pages <laughs> yeah something is losing the plot book pages because i'm going to show you she's given us two ways to actually do this and the ruler is much faster than the thing the cutter and it makes less noise so i just switched over here to the cutter i mean to the ruler to do this okay so don't throw these away they make awesome awesome um uh, parts to uh, for your, uh, you know, like if you want to stamp, like make labels and stuff like that. The color is beautiful and uh, it works really well. So don't throw them away. You can use them for your junk journals. Okay, great stuff. So I'm just going to put these to one side thing. Right, so that's done. And you'll need some ink as well to glue. I mean, not to glue. <laughs> Something. <laughs> okay so you can make your pockets any which way you want guys i'm so sorry i was so busy speaking to you the other supplies you will need is some some craft paper whether it's digital or not so all you have to do is you have to measure how long you want your pocket or decide how long you want your pocket and then you can fold it up from the bottom to the top because the bottom is a smaller piece whereas the top is you know the writing should be facing you so in this case you are going to get this part where the pocket is the writing is going to be upside down but that's why we're using digitals or scrapbook paper or whatever so you can change it and all your pockets don't need to be the same size okay so that's what you do and then you know rachel never ever inks but i'm going to ink 
and I'm going to ink uh, just what needs to be inked uh, for this part of the project. I really need to remember to um, add uh, some, what's that thing called? Uh, Re-inker into this pad here. I just forget all the time. So yes, you go ahead and you ink as much as you want to. It doesn't really matter. Oopsie. Um, yeah, so if you gotta go through the supply list again, it's your ink, your uh, your pen, your, your ruler or your cutter, some book pages, some digital, some labels, and then some whatever is going to be like, you know, your main or your focal point. So I've done that. And then what we're going to do after that is that there's two ways you can work this. You can work it where you glue it into your junk journal, flat down, or you glue it on three sides. Okay. And uh, you can make a pocket and a double pocket, or you can attach it to your junk journal. And then you can put some, um, what's this word? book page on this side or whatever that will help you to write and then you can make it a journaling um, pocket as well so I think I want to um, I want to make it either a top loading pocket or a side loading pocket okay but I will show you one where I might just make it into you know use some book pages and then uh, use that to be able to uh, cover the back. Okay, so let's get a... Um, no, that looks like it's too close. Somewhere there. And then the other one uh, somewhere here maybe. Okay, so great stuff. And if you know me, I can't cut straight with the ruler either so I am going to put this into here like this and I'm going to cut it down to size now you know whenever you do uh, oh, what's this word whenever you tea dye paper it goes a bit wonky kind of stretches a bit so I'm hoping that we will have a good fit over there and that it hasn't gone weird uh, you know stretched out too much and that looks good okay so now let's just do one so depending on how many we get done okay uh, there are others that work very fast and then and then there's me <laughs> okay so on this one here we are going to uh, just do this I'm the slow crafter. Right. And then just glue this down. And you can decorate the side. I mean, you know, you don't have to not decorate it. It all depends on you. And I think, uh, you know, the main thing is that uh, I think you decorate according to how you want to. That's number one. And number two, I think if you are someone that doesn't do bu bulky journals, then you might choose to decorate or not decorate the side, but that's that side, so on that side you do that. But then once you are done with that, then you take your glue and then you just draw a thin line of glue on either side of the pocket, something like that. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to do and I'm going to do it. It's just to reinforce this pocket so I forgot to do that. So I'm going to just reinforce the pocket, okay, on that side, like that. So I'm just going to add the glue here. Well, I, I think it depends on how thick your paper is. This is a uh, pretty sturdy paper, so, uh, you know, it's fine if it doesn't get reinforced. And then the one thing I want to do as well is for those pockets... Uh, that are going to go, you know, like I'm going to make this a, um, uh, um, 
Okay, that's fine. It doesn't need it. But let's say I want to make, because this one got the journal card in the back. Let's say I want to make this a one that goes to the top, I mean a top tuck. So I'm just going to reinforce that as well. So, you know, the pocket that becomes a top loading pocket. Okay, so where you can put a journal card behind this and stick it on three sides in your journal. So I'm just going to do that on that side there. Okay, just to reinforce it there. Okay, and then just reinforce here as well. Okay, and then that looks a bit crooked. So let's straighten that out a little bit. Okay, and then let's just glue it down. Quickly here, like that. Oh, today I'm brave, I'm not using a mat. And then, so if you feel that, okay, my word, I, 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 sh I should have picked this pocket up because now I reinforced it. So then, fine, just add more glue and then say, right, you know what, since I reinforced it, let's pick that pocket up there. <coughs> it's a good thing we did not before we do that because we reinforced it now we're gonna have to do those edges again okay so <coughs> let's do this one excuse me give me a second okay sorry about that yeah so I'm gonna pick this pocket up a little bit more because I forgot about the reinforcing like that and then I'm just gonna have to do this edge all over again here, like that. So let's work on these three for now. That one, uh, you see I forgot to do the edge on that, but it's fine, it's fine, you don't have to. I'll show you why now, okay? So if you missed doing that edge, I guess it's not a crime, okay? Because you're going to do this now. So did I pick that pocket up? I did, so that's where it is now. Make sure this is stuck down nicely because you don't want to get your card, journal card or whatever stuck in there. Okay, there we go. So that's done. All right, and then let's take the one where we created the, um, you know, the journaling space in the back and let's work with that one quickly. All right, so um, I don't know. <clears throat> so let's say okay let's put this here All right so we know now we want it somewhere there and we are going to cut it off maybe here and then we are going to cut it off here <clears throat> and and these are uh what's an artie maze artie maze freebies and you can get it on a <coughs> Sorry, a coffee shop. I'm sorry, one minute, guys. Yeah, sorry. I think today uh, my allergies are up as well. So I'm really suffering today. And when I was naughty, I was like, you know what? <laughs> Whether I drink coffee or I don't drink coffee, this thing is not abating. This, um, what's the word? <clears throat> The acid reflux so I'm gonna have myself a cup of coffee but I did not even have myself a cup of coffee I had myself bought a cup of coffee and it was decaf yep so that's it mm. <clears throat> so I think <clears throat> my body is saying well if you want to do that Go for it, but you are going to suffer. I was at that point where I was just really angry. You know. Ever get like that? Ever get like that? I'm sure everyone has that point in their life where they get to a point where they say, I've had enough. I've had enough and 
<clears throat> I know what the consequences are, but I'm going to do it anyway because it doesn't seem to make any difference. Gosh, guys, please remember one thing. I'm talking about a cup of coffee here. I won't be so blasé when it comes to life, <laughs> you know, life <laughs> changes or life decisions. No, I won't. <clears throat> I think things trip th through to a certain degree. Right, so that's done there. And then I thought <clears throat> maybe we must add this part here. But I think I want a plainer part there. Something like that. Okay. And maybe I don't want it all the way through. So I'm just... Um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to see this is a smaller part and there is a part there is some place there for me to cut along the lines so, <clears throat> so maybe it would help like that I leave that on that side oh maybe that's not a good idea and so let's add this maybe here like that okay <clears throat> and let's just ink it just checking the time over here but really can't say because i've uh you know stopped the video because of my naughtiness today <clears throat> i got like a frog in my throat as well <clears> throat> so please excuse me i'm clearing my throat so do excuse me so you remember i said even if you didn't ink they didn't really make a difference because you just added that part to it there and then i think you see i really wanted that flower there so i think i'm gonna use that flower there <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna use it so I just printed this on ordinary copy, um, copy paper <laughs> because uh, you know I like the idea of that okay so that's gonna work there And then I'm going to take it to the top because my flower is going to be here. Now, that looks crooked, so we have to put it that way. <clears throat> well, it doesn't look crooked. <clears throat> yeah, there's some writing on it. So you have to put it that way. Okay, so now... I think the flower I'd like to use, maybe that one. I think I like that flower there. I think I like that flower. So I am going to ink it up. And the reason why is to, I want to put this flower down first. So I know where I can put labels and stuff. Okay. If I want to add some labels and things like that so ta-da oh something -y. you clown that's a mistake because i was not supposed to <coughs> excuse me i'm so sorry i was coughing and then my son asked me came to ask me whether he, he could get me more water so <laughs> it coincided okay so where was i yes i wasn't supposed to ink i mean sorry glue this part here and then maybe the break also helped because i didn't um i allowed it to dry so i think i'm gonna put this flower over here like that okay or should we put it on this side okay yeah, so if we put it on that side, maybe I want to put a label here. 
sorry my son just brought water for me so maybe i want to put a label here so before i you know glue this down maybe i would like to put a label here so that it's not in my way when i glue it something like that okay so let me put the label first <coughs> Gosh, guys, there's a frog in my throat. And I am sucking a lozenger as well. So please forgive me if it seems like uh, my voice is a little bit different. It's because I decided to suck a lozenger and put you out of your misery. So I'm going to put that there. So now I know I need to glue it up at least until that leaf over there, just below that leaf, okay? So here, I'm only going to glue it here, like in a straight line with that leaf, okay? Oh, that's dry now. And then I'm going to add it here, like this, and let's feel it yep <laughs> i just want to make sure okay that it's good like that and then i think i just don't like the fact that both those labels are on the same side but it's okay i didn't want to block the flower too much so i'm gonna add that label here like this and maybe maybe a pretty stamp with oh sorry didn't realize my hand was so far just gonna get a stamp the stamp so oh I have no clue where oh there's it here <coughs> have no clue but now this one here is from uh, your creative studio so that looks nice let's see where, how it will work okay so no it can't go there can it go there no I think it's overkill I think it is overkill so let's leave that and let's just add this here okay okay i'd like i would have liked it to be on the other side but mm -hmm, it is what it is like that something like that okay so how does the pocket work mm, i don't have a journal card but i have a scraper so you're going to put your your card in here, your journal card in here, and you can put in more than one, and that's it. So that's the first one, and then let's do the second one. Um, I'm just looking at my time. Uh, this one here, we wanted to do this one because we said this one over here is the one where we reinforced it in the back, okay? so let's look i think i want to do the sunflower so i want to put the sunflower there and let's see what pages we want to use just cut the pages to the side guys okay so i think i want to use these here because kind of keeping in the autumn theme. So, I think I want to use this year. This year, I like that there. So let's use that there. Today I'm not using scraps, did you notice? Did you notice? Because my scraps wouldn't have been big enough for this project. So there we go. And then, let's, bring out our stuff okay 
let's try to work a little bit faster because I really don't know how long this video is now because I did not stop it I'm looking at my watch and I apologize really I do apologize for the interruptions and I gotta go back to the um, to the ENT on Monday, no, Tuesday next week. Tuesday. So I'm going to put that there like that. And I think we can, hopefully, it's not going to be too long, but hopefully I can make maybe three. Okay. I'm going to add that there. Okay. Like that. And it's crooked, but hey, hey, it's okay. Hey, hey, it's okay. All right, and then I think I want to add this here, over here, like that. Okay, but I think I want to add that part there. So, excuse me, with my pencil. So maybe that much there. And on this one, it's so pretty. Well, not that the other one wasn't. I want to add a full part to it. So let's do this. Yep. So, you know, ladies, this is a fantastic way. <laughs> I think I got the wrong part out. Honestly, I did. Oh no, I cut it that way. Okay, <laughs> it looks so very small. Oh man, I thought it was going to be, but it's right. Okay, I was going to tell you, you know, ladies, this is a fantastic way to make up your um, what's you know, like makeup ephemera. Okay, it's a bit of a mass make kind of shabby dabby doodle. And you don't have to decorate them fully because I think Tina does a few but she only decorates some fully or something like that gosh I can't remember I haven't watched Tina for a while because I just don't have the time right so we're going to add that and I think I want to add it here and then let's see what labels we are going to add to it mm -hmm. I actually printed more labels today and I printed uh, the Tracy Fox ones and then I printed um, some of my older ones but oh I did not have time to uh, <coughs> excuse me <laughs> oh yes that's the other thing my sinuses are killing me so yeah I didn't have time to <laughs> print everything out this looks cool and cute can we add that can we add it uh maybe this year because I'd like to block that a little bit oh sorry I'm out of frame that thing maybe that thing and something like that okay cool that's it that's it we on a timer here well even though I'm not timing myself but um yeah think we can do about three hopefully uh, if I remember what time I started <laughs> I don't remember what that I did it again I'm talking to you talking to you guys and I did it again what is wrong with me Santhony what is wrong with you Santhony so I need to glue it up until the Santhony is so in her own world today so there, like that. And 
thankfully for thankfully for wet wipes because that just took everything out isn't this just beautiful you know i'm wondering now it has to be this way it has to be that way it doesn't have to hold properly remember that because remember you got your pocket there this is just for decorate decorative purposes okay that's all it's there for e and then i like this one not that i didn't like the other one i don't know i, I like maybe it's because i like sunflowers okay i really like sunflowers And my hands are now getting dirty because I am busy uh, removing glue. Cool bananas. That's done, but I feel, I feel, I feel it that it might need a word or something. Well, it says a kind one is like a spring day. No. Let's put this one. A flower blossoms out of their own joy. That's better. And then let's add that there. Just underneath that flower. There we go. So that's another one. And maybe I should make it straighter because my word that is crooked so that's that and then the next one now so we've done that one and that one so let's remove some junk from here it's not junk it's our scraps and let's choose another one that we're going to work on okay so what about this one Oh no, what about this one? We haven't done something in blue. Let's do that in blue, okay? And then we are going to uh, use this one because we inked this one and we did everything on it. So we're gonna use that one, okay? And let's see what we have over here. want that there and this at the bottom okay so now on this one here we have to tear it uh -huh. yeah something let me tear it i have to tear it closer ah i'm going to use the cutter Gonna try and use the cutter. It's my fault. I should have printed these. Um, uh, you know what's the word I'm looking for? But no, I don't know whether it's my fault. I don't know because I don't know whether this can print. I'm just gonna take it to maybe the half the page. Okay. And then let's see how long we need it. Um, that's that one. And I want to put that there. So it's about that much. And then uh, that much. Okay. So once again, the trimmer to trim off that white edge. Which I should have trimmed off before my mark. But I'm just going to say, well, 
maybe it's that much more okay and then we'll see how well i could estimate sorry guys didn't realize i was not in frame just trim that out okay then and then while i'm here let me also trim this one out here noisy right I think that's fine so let's see how good we were in my how good I was in my measurement mm, almost there but not there just a bit that is it because I'd hate to take that trimmer again yep that's it oh we forgot to ink we forgot to ink let's mm, get this off the desk and these as well okay so we're working with those two be done and we are working with this one now. Okay, so I'm gonna add this here. Now the glue is clogging up. Guys, what is this nonsense? The glue is clogging up. My throat is worrying me more than it should because I've also got sinuses right now. So that's all happening. And then I am also, how much here? Let's see. that and on this side mm, let's do that and let's see if we can cut that without a trimmer you'll know soon enough okay we managed that part without a trimmer, but let's give it straight. Yeah, looks like it may be, may not be. The, the truth or the test or the proof of it will come when we try to stick it down, right? Okay, so great. Let's add that there now. No, oh, he's so pretty. Like that. Hey, guys, ladies, I cut it straight. Oh, I tore it straight. Oh, love it. But then, yeah, no, it has to go there. Because then it's going to block everything else. So, I'm going to have to forfeit some part of it. Remember, I'm sure you all are saying to me, Something you remember, remember not to glue everything. Not to glue everything down. Don't forget. So, there we go. Up until there. Okay, like that. And then we're going to add it there, like that. Okay. And something like that. Oops. And then. Let's just take out that little bit that we added extra there. And then we find, yep, we're perfectly fine. And then what do we have here? We have this. That can go there. 
and this one probably here like that okay and we are done we have done maybe three don't know the time but I, we could be hopefully on the 40 minute mark i'm not sure i'm sorry about that if it's over okay. there we go there and i did not i didn't um ink this maybe somewhere there like that like that okay so we are done does it need anything more does it need a word let's see let's see did this one need a word maybe there oh look i found something no but that's not a word mm. nope no word uh, I feel like it needs a long word and we don't have long words okay discover maybe we can put that there or should we put it here yeah I think I like it there discover there and then on the top there maybe another never yet no that says spring a kind word is like a spring day these are artemis free never yet no sorry looking for there we go that's not springy oh no but we can use spring we can the other one was more autumn so yeah so i can't really ink this because it seems like somewhere around the line i would have um um, emboss this so there we go that's the and then here we wanted now let's not overdo the labels we wanted that day okay okay and then let's add that there quickly. Something like that. Okay, and then where's this? Yeah, so here. Let's see if we can add. We'll just add a thing there. Never yet. Okay, never yet is spring. There we go. That's it. Done and dusted. So I hope that you like these pockets that we made today. And it's all uh, about Rachel from Roxy Creations her challenge which is the roxy's weekly challenge and this happens to be round two or week two oopsie <laughs> i completely missed the the glue part of it i completely missed it it's on the floor now the glue is lying on the floor yeah where was i you see i get distracted so quickly okay so it is her number two week number two of her weekly challenge and um yeah so i'm sorry Yes, today I was a bit all over the place and I, uh, you know, I apologize for that. Really do apologize for that. Um, it seems like, yeah, my body is killing me today. But that's it. It's made out of book pages and then you can just add to it and they become pockets. So, oh, hmm. let's see if this is going to fit in there. But yeah, nope, it's not. It's not. It's way too big. But if that was, okay, let's look at this. If this was a journaling card, it would go in there. And how pretty is that? 
Okay, your raised pockets. Week two of Roxy's weekly uh, uh, creations or Roxy's weekly challenge rather is raised pockets and wow, that looks awesome. I love it. Okay, and remember this one here, we are going to um, glue it flat down. Okay, this one here is a is going to be glued on th three sides okay and then uh we will tuck something in in fact this one here is strong enough now to be even glued on three sides and be a side a tuck okay because it's quite quite tough now or sturdy and then this one here is going to be one where it is a uh, journaling card in the back okay so that is it so pockets journaling cards so you you kind of created different ephemera here because it's a pocket and a pocket side pocket a top loading pocket with a pocket pocket and a journaling card so you can see how you can have your very own spin on this depending on how you you glue it into your junk journal so that's it and i apologize i think maybe on some occasions i may have been out of uh, frame so I apologize for that and um, all the um, you know interruptions okay and uh, do take care and uh, lots of love from me at Sunny Creates but before I go okay so what is our word if you have watched this video till the end it is going to be um, where, where, where is that thing sorry raised pockets and let's just make it easy flower it's going to be flower so if you've watched this video till the end comment flower okay and anything else as well please do comment and tell us what you have done with yours use our facebook group sunny create strong journals to um show us your creations okay and then also if you like this kind of content and you are not as yet a member please consider subscribing to my channel I'd uh, really love to see you here in you know more often and then also hit the notification tab so that you can see more videos that I bring I try to bring videos now on a Monday Wednesday and a Friday let's see how it goes <clears throat> but that's it and I think I told you yesterday I um, mean Monday I might not be able to bring videos on a Monday to you, but so may, maybe Tuesday with Friday, depending. Take care, everybody. Lots of love from me, Santhony and Sunny Creates, and have a blessed week ahead. Bye bye.